when I'm looking at his work, I'm like, what the hell does this mean? I mean, at least I was initially. But when you spend time with it, you actually start to see someone who's really interested in the world around him and really interested in actually the experience of how the body itself relates to objects and how we kind of construct narratives to help make sense of ourselves. And that's why he's really interested in kind of popular culture, but he's also interested in kind of media spectacle. He's interested in kind of conspiracy theories and various forms of belief systems that help people understand who they are. But he's always trying to disrupt that and make you show how all of those things are constructions in a way. Who is the Fumiyam, the tear? Regine would have done it if I'd asked her to work them. So most famously, he brought in stuffed toys that you would play with as a child into the art gallery um, because he really wanted you to think about what actually these things that you take for granted in your bedroom really mean culturally. And I think that kind of investigation into the world at large is what inspired artists and also hopefully inspired viewers as well to kind of question their surroundings. So Mike Kelly at Tate Modern is a chaotic installation. There is sculpture, there is painting, there's photography, there's phallic references, there's lots of sexual references. There's a lot going on and it can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, he's also a name that many people won't be familiar with, in, especially in the UK, because he's an American-based artist who did influence many artists who came after him. And the work itself is also very conceptual, which might make it hard to access for people who are less familiar with his work. <laughs> 